I now call to order the New Carlisle City Council special meeting for February 11th, 2019 at 7 p.m. Mr. Bridge, do you mind calling the roll? Oh, I forgot I had to be a clerk of council. Okay. Um, just go down the line? Yep. Uh, Councilman Cobb? Here. Councilman Cook? Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Here. Mayor Reynolds? Here. Uh, Councilman Shammy? Here. And Councilman Lowry? Here. Fantastic. You don't mind staying for the invocation tonight by Vice Mayor William Lindsay. Higher head, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for allowing us to meet to discuss the city budget. And we are on the right track, but I think we have more work to do, Lord. Father, we ask you to protect our firefighters, our EMS, our police officers, and our military. Bless everybody in this building, this council, the administration, and all the citizens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge the back tonight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> No minutes. Committee reports <coughs> on. City manager report on. Comments from members of the public. Please limit comments to five minutes <coughs> or less. Hearing none from our enthusiastic crowd. Committee reports none. Resolutions none. Ordinances none. Other business. Budget work session. Mr. Bridge, would you like to kick it off? I would. If you give me one second, let me get my computer going here. Let's make sure I have the Excel sheet up just in case any changes are made. Uh, I, I don't, okay, stop with the reminders. Um. <laughs> okay, before we begin, um, I will say that we have a new finance director and I will start off by giving her fantastic props. Um, we had a software conversion this year, and Debbie started at a very tough time, and she really has pulled through. And for that, we should all thank her. So thank you, Debbie, for your hours upon hours of hard work uh, with this transition and also onto this budget. Um, over the weekend, I think Friday, I'd emailed out the first, well, now a draft of what we had originally computed. And I had updated all the council members, but I will update the public and the audience, and then those who will be watching later on YouTube we had originally projected our ending fund balance to be around 879,000. Well, actually this afternoon in Debbie's office, we found an additional about 124,000 in a line item that that income tax money was not dispersed after Colleen left. Um, Debbie did, was not aware of that fund. Um, so when we found it today, we quickly realized that, my Lord, that's gonna have a major impact, not only on our general fund, but also our police levy fund as well. So once we recalculated uh, the figures, uh, we have added an additional $83,110 into the general fund as income tax, and what that has done has had a massive ripple effect. Our now new ending balance for 2018 is $949,285 that we'll, we will be carrying over for this year. So um, that's a fantastic step in the right direction for the city, so we're all very proud of it. Uh, a couple years ago, we didn't have a lot of money, but we're definitely on the road to recovery. So with that being said, um, we can start at page one. That's our general fund revenue. We really don't have much to really can't do much about the revenues. Um, you can definitely take a look at them. Just please note that a lot of these revenues, especially in the top half of the thing, um, regarding our taxes and stuff like that, or income tax, real estate tax, those are actually given to us by the county through, uh, um, what is that, certified appropriations? Something like that. Estimated resources. Estimated resources, that's what it is. Certificate of estimated resources. So um, that's the number we plug into that. So if any questions on those, we can definitely discuss them. Um, one of the things that I noticed different last year than this year is we saw a massive increase, uh, about a $4,000 increase in our grass cutting collections. So that means we're getting some money back on those houses we're taking care of. Our public and use abatement, that it kind of goes year in and year out. We didn't have a lot of big property cleanups that we had to do this year like we had in years past that's a good thing because that tells you that people are taking better care of their properties which is good for everyone involved 
Um, the remaining items there are, are sell your tower receipts. That's I mean sell tower lease receipts. That should always stay about the same. Every five years it does go up. We saw an increase um, in shelter house rentals by a couple thousand dollars. Um, we also saw a massive increase in our interest earnings, um, and that is through our investments with Star Ohio. Any questions on that? And please note that there is a water tower reimbursement for twenty-eight thousand eight seventy-five. And that was part of the 115 that the general fund loaned to the water department for the tower cleaning project. And of course, the line down at the last one, transfer and income tax withholding, is the line that we just discussed, um, which shows the $83,100 in there from the income tax. So our total projected revenues are 1,400,000. I mean, for 2019 proposed, the revenues are $1,332,525. Ended 18 with $1,467,311. Any questions? No. No? Miss. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And we'll go on to expenses, and that's council expense. Debbie, feel free to chime in if anything you want to say, okay? Okay. All right. Um, you want to say anything? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this process to get to, um, for you to get to know how I appropriate things and, and why I appropriate them the way I do. Um, I know everybody keeps saying I have 14 years experience, but that's a long time to be doing this. And it's easy to misunderstand, not understand how someone would think to appropriate. Um, when you appropriate, it's not saying that you're going to spend all that money. It says that you're putting money there to be available to be expended. And if you, if you appropriate down to the penny and you think you're cutting a budget down to the penny and you spend one penny over that, you have went over your budget. And that is what you never want to hear. That's, that's what you try not to ever do is go over your budget. You want to cut a budget, but what you're actually cutting is your expenses during the year. So at the end of the year, you say, oh, look, we spent this much last year, but we spent even less this year. That's how you look at the big picture of how well a city's doing, how well we, we all together as a team decided how to spend the money. But when you start at this level and you want to start, you don't always want to cut to the penny because, like I said, if you overspend one penny of that, the perception is you went over budget for the year. So that's why we kind of put a cushion in there you want to make sure you at least have what you spent from last year in there. And then a cushion for, I mean, we all know milk goes up, bread goes up, everything goes up price-wise. So you, you don't want to cut yourself short when you're appropriating money. And so I just wanted to kind of explain that to begin with before we start. Um, and that's my way of thinking. But you guys are boss, and we'll go from there, and we'll start looking at line item by line item. Another thing I wanted to add on to that too is Debbie hit hit at home. I mean, you don't the minute you spend over that penny and you spend above your budget, it's not good news. Do you remember the backlash we got this year when we had to add more money to the lawyer line item? The same thing. We busted that budget line. We had to go back and add more money into it, and it caused a lot of questions and a lot of public records requests. So there's other things we need to look at. More important of what I'm getting ready to say. We are going to be submitting our budget to you for approval in a vastly different manner this year. We've always gotten dinged on the auditor with how we submitted the budget before, and the city has historically submitted it um, very, I don't want to say vaguely, but vaguely. And what I say vaguely is they would just have general fund, revenue, expenses, or expenditures, that's it. And it really, really didn't break it down. But we always got dinged with that on the auditor. It's never really a bad finding, just a recommendation. But however, we need to move forward and do it the correct way. So how we're going to have it submitted to you guys this year is basically very broken down, almost line item by line item in certain functions, and certain functions could be a group. But what that means is this. We will not be able to go ahead and move money around at our leisure. And what I mean by that is if one fund before was a little low, we can go to the fund above that and transfer money in because how the budget was submitted. This year, we will not be able to do that. So if we have $45,000 in wages 
And if we spend 45,000 one cent, we have to come back to you guys and redo our budget. So we won't be able to move money around from like say camcorder operations and move it up to, I'm just using an example, moving it up to, to wages. We won't be able to take it from that line item to another line item. That's how we will be submitting the budget to you guys. So keep that in mind when you work up making these cuts because Colleen in years past could sit there and take $20 from another line item and put it into another line item. So we will not be able to do that. So Debbie hit it right on the, right on the head. You don't want to appropriate so thin that you get so close. Every year we historically spend well under the amount that we are appropriated. And that also has a ripple effect on legislation cost from having to do new legislation. Now you got the attorney involved, you have time spent here to get it passed, so it does have a ripple effect. Keep in mind, whatever you appropriate here, we cannot go over without your approval. And to add what he said, to, to make it a little simpler, before, like he said, uh, you appropriated per fund just a total amount you appropriated it. and that gave you um, that way you could do that all the time well legally that is not good to appropriate just by fund you have to appropriate by categories not necessarily mm -hmm. line sure. item but like personnel is all in one category so if we have to transfer money within that personnel line item like you know fifty dollars because we miss it, that's that can happen but not not out of each category then you have to go back to you and back to the county and that's not an efficiency when it comes to the financing so it, it's and especially in the city aspect there's a lot of um time that we have to it takes time to do these types of things and then we can't pay a bill because it's taken four to six weeks to get something redone in that aspect but there is a little, I mean, wiggle room with that within categories. So like, I'm going to give you an example. If there's personnel, other, and capital, those are just um, three, you know, categories that um, you, you could appropriate at that level, but we're going to try to go a little further with that here. But so you kind of understand. And just ask me if I'm saying something you're not getting. I'll explain it again a different way. <laughs> Any questions on the general fund expense for council? I think last year we didn't get a line item. You guys just looked over it and you, anything that was in, in the rest of you we talked about? Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything over uh, here Mr. stick out? Okay. Mr. Lindsay. I do have a question on council's uh, wages. Okay. Why is there a, looks like a $7,000 increase? Because in the 18, um, we are missing one council member. So for the 2018, we didn't spend as much as we normally would with seven council members. So, and I, you know, I just put in enough so that if we pay seven for the entire year, we're a little closer to that figure. But in 16 and 17, we only had 41,000 there. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I'm. And I don't you don't want to go down to the penny though. That's the thing. Anything could happen. You don't know six months from now, you guys could vote yourself in a race. It don't, doesn't take effect to the next election cycle, though. No, but it is, that's just where we're getting at. You know, <laughs> we're like not, Congress. I mean, I don't recommend cutting down to 41000 even. You're going to cut real close. You know, and $1,000 there and there. And it's a matter of $4,000, then you're talking, and it's not, I mean, obviously we're probably not going to spend it. It's going to be a carryover. And that's how you kind of save money and put it in the piggy bank, because... You know. I was just curious why it went yeah, up that's to 7000 yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I know the camcorder operations expenses probably went up, but... Uh, and that might go up again. I have a meeting with Jeff, uh, Jason on Thursday. <coughs> up on that. Okay. All right. So, I, uh, thank you. Anything else on council's expenditures? Can I explain the capital? We did add capital in there, yes. and I want to know if that's okay, because what's going to happen is once we get to this part, um, well, it depends on when we get through the rest of the budget. But we don't, we've never had a capital line item for council. We haven't. So we're, if this gets approved as is, we have, to re we have to amend the capital program that we already approved for 19 a while back. Mm -hmm. The reason this is there, this is part of the project um, that we're going to be meeting on an executive session. Mm -hmm. um, if we're going to build what we're going to build, I would like to see some technology behind there, permanent technology behind there for you guys. So the paper method is no longer on the table. Basically, desktop computers. That would stay stationary right there. So that's why it's there. 
Any yes. questions on that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Ms. Uh, I do have a question. I'd like to ask the uh, finance director what her opinions are on your comment. <laughs> on our comment about which comment? On the computer, the technology? Oh, because we were discussing either um, an iPad that would, you know, smaller a tablet that can sit, you know, in if we have a new space, even if we uh, don't and you're here, just um, you can't have computers sitting up in front of your face. So, we were tired. so I was just kind of thinking when he was saying that, oh, maybe iPads too, you know, just little tablets. If you're asking if we sort. both agree, you guys need some technology piece, yes, we both agree. Because that has a ripple effect. And, and office like, supplies, paper supplies. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're asking? And I, I would like to mention the, the training and travel. I know we've not had a lot of money in there, but the conferences that they have for local government officials, mm. I don't know how many of you have ever went to them, but they are awesome. And, you know, going year after year, they kind of get boring. But they do have a lot of good information. There's a lot of um, other council members there. Uh, that you can bounce ideas off of how you do things. And um, so I don't know if you do that, but I thought I, I want the money in there so that if you need to, we need to pay to go, we have it for seven people to do so mm -hmm. at any given time. What year did, was it the first year you were on council yeah. you went up to the conference what, with me? 16. Did you get a lot out of that? It was a good conference. Oh, yeah. I still re look back at the uh, resources of like home, yeah. You know, so we decided to put some money in there. We don't know if the new council members wanted to go. Um, I usually go to your public records for training on your behalf, but that makes me think I got to pass legislation for that this year. Um, it's always a benefit to send council members mm -hmm. off to these kind of training. I think it was very beneficial. Absolutely, I thought, one hundred percent. Okay. <clears throat> so we're and okay. The public with, records request was beneficial too when I went to it. I recommend. Yeah, I go on your behalf, but it's good for each council member to go because you see yeah. it right then. You go at least once. Mm-hmm. Okay, any questions or comments on the remaining part of council expenses? No? Okay. City manager expenses. Um, I have spoken with the vice mayor. I will be requesting to go in not only to executive session next week for what we discussed for the project, but also to discuss the future employment of a public personnel. Um, I think it's about time that certain people, high administration people, get the raises they deserve. Um, so that's part of that is in there. Um, so we can go into executive session and talk about that piece of it, because um, I do have some discussion regarding Mr. Kitko that I would like to share with everyone. Um, so with that being said, um, in years past, you guys have always allocated money in there for me to get an executive system or some kind of help. I've never just hired it. Um, so I don't want you to think that I was bumped in there because of that for this year, because I still don't have any intention of hiring an executive assistant. Um, but there will be some additional wages I would like to discuss with you guys in executive session. Uh, so with that being said, it does have a ripple effect on the other stuff down there as far as that benefits, Medicare, PERS, public retirement. So you know how we calculate those things. Medicare is a certain percentage. We just take the wages and times it by 0 0.3. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. PERS, though, is a lot more easy. It's 14% of the salary that the city is, by law, required to put into the PERS on behalf of the employer. So we simply take the 99,000 times it by 14%. That's what we get. Uh, medical insurance, we're going to see that slightly go up. And again, I'll go into detail more about that um, in the um, executive session. I would like to go um, to a little more training sessions this year because I think they are, again, very valuable. So we did up that a little bit. So any other things on that line item that you would like to discuss, we're definitely open. Anything on you, Debbie? No, not. Um, I usually always um, budget $1,000 in miscellaneous, and that kind of covers you. At, I don't, I don't know if you know, at the end of the year when we're trying, November, and we're struggling with trying to find money in which line item still has money left. There's a lot of, uh, you know, I, I call it creative financing. It's legal to take money from, you know, wherever you can, what, whatever's left within those categories. So miscellaneous uh, withholds anything like that. And if something comes up that's unexpected, so that's why you'll see $1,000 in miscellaneous just sitting there. That doesn't mean it ever gets spent. It just means if... If we need it, it's there, and it's only $1,000. So, um, I think that was really. I did add 5000 to the capital due to the quote unquote project um, last year. Um, I allocated some money to buy this fantastic piece of machinery. It's still going strong. Um, and I said I wouldn't put any money this year for it. However, given the recent lights of events, um, if that goes, does go through, 
I'm going to need part of that capital probably for my portion of what I need to do for the building. Any questions? Council. I just like the code talk. The what? The code. I don't know if we're talking. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't. No, I, I know, it, I know. You know, like, I don't know where we stand with it yet, so. Council, any questions on Mr. Bridge and his department? <laughs> Nope, Mr. Bridge. Finance. Finance. Any questions on the finance? So, I tend to watch the money as best as to my ability. I will call out the elephant in the room. We saw a massive increase in operational supplies, office supplies from 17 to 18. So I did ask Debbie for some more information on that. And, um, cause that was half the reason why I set up, I did that expense report I emailed to you guys. Um, we had a lot of purchases this year with the software upgrade for the council that had ripple effect. We had to buy um, some new uh, individual office printers that could be co um, with the compatible with the software conversion. Uh, we also had <coughs> had to buy a lot of chairs for the office staff, so that kind of shot it up and other miscellaneous items. It is on my radar. That is some of the things that we will be watching. I've already talked to Debbie about that this morning, um, but it is definitely a increase from how we've handled it in the past so i am aware of that um but it has been justified as to why it it, it has been up for this year and I, I will say that with me not being here for the whole year last year i i don't know where things were coded and it's very easy within this system here that every every department has office supplies and um so if someone i don't want to say this correctly um for instance if it doesn't always get coded into like finance, you know, if I didn't purchase it and water, it goes into water's office supplies. But at some point, if water runs out of something and they have to have ink for their printer, finance is where it goes. So I can't, you know, there was, there was a lot of, and there's the copy paper, there's all the toners and ink cartridges in there. They're very expensive and they're not replaced all the time, but this year there was a lot of them that needed replaced, so. So with this iPad, a uh, system they would cut down a lot right? sure I mean it would cut down tremendous. a lot of copying yeah a lot lots a lot yeah. Yeah. I couldn't tell you how many reams of paper I go through if it's a packet has 40 50 pages in it paper and labor it's that it's and it's for the audience we turn or, or you know you can it's purchase you know tablets for 200 bucks and and you can um, then get all the information you need on the tablet through email and you don't have to pick a package you don't have to worry about you know it's Get sent right to you on your tablet, so they're they're very efficient. So it's a thought. Maybe. Council, any comments? Hearing none. Okay. Uh, planning wages. Um, I did up them this year, and I'll tell you why. So I got sick of phone calls last year for our flower beds and our parks being a mess. So this year, I have every intention of looking to hire someone dedicated only to flower beds in the city and right -of and parks. Uh, because that's something that our street guys do and they already have their hands full with the regular grass cutting they need to do uh, through the abatements that we have to get cut. Some of the things just fell through the cracks due to lack of manpower. So again, one of the things I would like to do is bring in someone extremely part-time to go and weed the flower beds, make sure they're nice. Because we actually added flower beds last year to the city. I don't know if anyone noticed that we, um, up on Lake with a bike patch, patch interest. We made a big flower bed up there to that grant money we got from um, Keep Clark County Beautiful. So it's a lot of work to maintain those. If we ever get flower baskets downtown, which I would love to get at some point in time, they can help maintain those. So, um, and it can also can be for, um, I'm sorry, that's out of the parks department. <laughs> out of planning, sorry. <laughs> I wanna hire another code enforcement officer. That's simple. We need more than one. And then disregard what I said until I get to planning to the parks department. So that's why the wage you see the wages increase for planning, just because we need more than one code enforcement officer in town. Um, we tried to do that two years ago, and we tried to do it last year. It's tough to hire that position. So I'm not even sure. You know, we'll try again for this year. Um, a couple years ago, we had someone last about two months, if that. Um, and last year we put an ad no one even bothered to even apply for it. It's, that's a very difficult job. I used to do it. It's tough. Um, so we should all 
do our better job of identifying structures in the city that need attention or yards that need attention and one guy is just not cutting it right now so i'd like to uh, look at a, a higher in a second council right, hearing none okay law director set it at eighty thousand just because of the annexation that was tossed around um I'm supposed to be looking at annexation this year, so that's had to be come out of some line item. The only one that's going to come out of is law. That doesn't necessarily mean our law director will get all that unless needed, then we have to reallocate, but we do need to pat ourselves not only for our normal day-to-day -day law stuff, which averages around 59 to 75,000, but we're also going to need some money in there for some sort of land attorney as well. So that's why the law is up to where it's at. Any questions or complaints, comments on that one? Recommendations? Council. <clears throat> Hearing none. Mr. Bridge. Anything done? Right. Thank you. Anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Parks. All right. Let me pick up my spiel about that again. Sorry. Parks planning. Um, to reiterate what I said, I would like to look at hiring an additional seasonal person just for flower beds other miscellaneous small items as well but really just to dedicate themselves to beautifying our city i could not tell you how many times last year we got complaints or calls and it happens every year it's not like out last year was the outlier year um, but with that being said that's what i want to do um, just to help keep the city beautiful when you come into town as you visit even walking the bike path and picking up litter if it needs to be done council any comments questions on Parks and Rec. Mr. Lindsay. You have 32000 for capital outlay. What would that be used for? Uh, that was playground equipment, 10000 for playground equipment, okay. 10000 for bike exercise stops. Let me pull out the capital. I should have had it up. I'm, I do apologize. It's right here. Um, <laughs> so for parks in the CIP, okay, we had fifteen thousand for shelter house upgrades additions. That was approved by you guys. Yeah, and then the, the remainder of 10 for playground equipment and 10 for bike extra try stops. Okay. So here's the thing. Some shelter house renovations, where you guys stand out with that? It's 15,000 you have allocated. I think with our project potentially coming up, I don't, I think it's fine. It's rented. It's always rented. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I know that some of us want or have wanted in the past tile or Wi-Fi, things like that in here. But I think with the project, uh, I think we should cut that down. I mean, I mean, it's something that I, I agree with you. I don't want to cut it too low because at the end of the day, we do make money on this place mm -hmm. and we haven't had any renovations to it probably since it's been built. Kitchenette, that's still on the table with you guys. Are you guys looking at redoing yes, the floor? Right. So it's just, where do we want to go with it? Is that something you want to hold off yeah. on? I just have, yeah. and, and I oh, know that it's a little different because it's worded shelter house renovations, but shelter house renovations also includes this parking lot. Gonna... And, and I just think this is a liability waiting to happen. Right. Um, and I think that That's if we left point. it in there, at That's least good... we could maybe, we would have some more money here to fix, you know, the parking lot. That was my thought, you know, when I'm, I'm kind of figuring money, I was thinking about that out there, so. I'm going to start with Mr. Cobb and we'll work our way down the line. That's a good point. Fantastic. Mr. Cobb. You know, I agree with, with the parking lot. We've got a problem out there. Mm -hmm. But what I want to get at here is along with the parks board and everything, they were given $10,000 last year. What did they do with it? Parks, but last year was solely on me. I said this year I'd get with them and help them the tournament. So they had they had a line item in special events, which we'll get to, 
but the actual playground equipment that paid for that dome and all that stuff out there. That's this one. They have a different line item in special events is what you're getting at. I know what you're talking about. When we discussed, so the, Mr. Cobb, when we discussed it last time, we, Colleen put it in here. Mr. Bridge will show you. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, also, what I'd like to see for non residents increase the fee. Okay. On the shelter house. Okay. That's something the council has to vote on. Just so you know, I, I think years ago it was like that. All they do is have someone else that lives in the city come around. So I think it's very, I think it needs to be done, but well, if we don't see that massive increase like we expect, that's what they do. So if you lived in Park Lane and wanted their shelter house, you would just have someone from New Curl out and get it, you know? Um, but I mean, if we get a little bit off of it, it's worth it. But that's something council's gonna have to get with, with the fees structure and all that. So why don't you let me, um, let's get through all this stuff and then we'll probably once we get the budget approved then we can have the talk because there's actually some things that we should probably look at all our fee schedule from top to bottom and readjust it because it hasn't been updated since i done it last then i was still planning director i mean it was years ago so it's something that we should probably look at as a whole council any other comments on the parks mr cook I definitely would love to see the parking lot revamped, mm -hmm. additional lighting out here because you go out of here at night, it's darker than dark. Mrs. Mahaffey's barn. Do we have specific on here? Let me see, shelter house upgrade addition. Yeah, seal floor and other upgrades and or addition. So we're good, that'll work. All right, what about uh, widening out the driveway? Down here, yeah. I'll have to get with Howie. I don't see why it'd be a problem, but no, there might be easements on either side. Well, and that's something we'll look into. You know, but at my thought, if we have a fairly good sized group here, you've got them parking on both sides. Now you got one lane down the center. Sure. And that's all you've got. So I think if we enhance the parking lot, the driveway, <coughs> the lighting, I think you're going to get a little few more rentals out of it. I also would love to see okay. something done about the uh, <coughs> upfront fee that they paid or the deposit, because I think at some point in time, some of the damage that has been done in here we may not be collecting. I would love to see that fee go up. Somebody from some department come in here the next morning after we have an event, check it out, if there is damage, bring it to somebody's attention, and that deposit will be withheld. We don't have a lot of damage per se. What I see that is not fun is people who like to hang streamers and they don't get the tape off, and then our street guys have to get on a ladder because they come and every morning they come here and check it, especially if someone had rented the night before. Um, and that's what we see a lot: people sticking stuff on the wall, not taking it down, little stuff like that. Very rarely do we get, oh, I broke. I don't want to say it, like broke a window. But I understand what you're saying, because a $20 key deposit really isn't. A well, I'll go back to the fact that looking at these chairs, they need to be redone. And consequently, that has occurred over the period of sure. time. Gotcha. And I'm looking at markers, uh, wax, God knows what else on the chair. Sure. Uh, it's not, I don't want to say that. To me, looking at when you come into a council chamber, and you're looking at a chair that's got something on it. Some of these have got the levelers busted off of them that need to be replaced. So I, I would love to see that. Portion. Sure, I agree with you. Do you want me to go ahead and put a note to look in chairs, cost the chairs two out of that 15,000? Because that'd be an upgrade as well. So now I got parking lot, widen road and lighting. Well, would this still be allowed to purchase those chairs with the upcoming project, even though we're not in the park? Well, again, well, no, because this is a capital line item for, for parks. For yeah, parks. well, I'm saying like for these chairs, which is what you're now, talking I'm about, there'd be something different. Right, I've got both ends. Okay. Of it. You've got chairs here and you've got chairs out there. Okay. So, you know, at some point there should be, I guess the council chairs for the people here are not too bad. But if you're having a general. No, the chairs are bad. They're yeah, all bad. Another type of chair, <laughs> much bad. like a plastic <clears throat> chair that no. is going to be a little cheaper. Right. 
I think for probably eight, nine hundred bucks, we should be able to get 50 chairs. Well, do you suppose we could go down to that hotel, motel? Mendelssohn's. What's called place and buy, pull uh, some buy, of the stuff in. Have you seen the fabric they use on those things? It's older. Miss Watson. It's older yes. than this stuff. Um, there's a couple of different places. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the place. Uh, Larix has chairs. Um, but sometimes, you know, Sam's, the chairs that they have there that are good quality for things like this, uh, you can buy them and they're, it's actually we've done that over there and, and found that Sam's was a good price on chairs for seating for mm -hmm. the residents. So Mendelssohn has can, they got just Mendelssohn. Yeah. Mendelssohn has leisures. Does it that used chairs though? Nope. Is that hotel liquor dean place still open up there in North Dayton? Next to the restaurant supply stop? Yeah. Is yeah. it still open? Come down. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. Well, there's multiple places. There's a party store in Marine that's absolutely humongous that sells this kind of stuff too. So um, we'll look into that. Absolutely. So chairs it is? Mr. Sh Mr. Lindsay, do you have anything? No, I'm good. Mr. Shammy? No, I'm good. Mr. Lowry? Sure. Fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, yeah, Deb, I was going to mention it right before you did, and I agree that, you know, if we could, no, 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 I'm, no, you're fine. Um, if we could get it repaved, I don't know if it would be possible with how Howie redoing, um, uh, what's the road he's doing this year? Gail, uh, Gailwood. Gailwood. If he could tie that in and mm. no, because no. the way it's done. It's not, I mean, that's where it's <laughs> Well, no, what I'm saying, no, so I'm not gonna, saying yeah. use the same money. What I'm saying is, is who it can, if he's adding more on for side jobs, does he get like a, maybe a little cheaper if it's done at the he's same time? He's bulk rate. Like a bulk Absolutely. rate type thing. Yeah, I don't think that project looks like this. This is the Galwood project, like the Prentice project. It's authorized through the county. So any kind of, any leftover material, I don't think they're going to say, here, use it for whatever project you need. That's going to be, and I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive I'm not. Um, we can just look at paying out right for this. But I see what you're saying. Because we also, we, do any other project, we don't, piggyback off of we don't have any handicapped parking spots on no, there labeled don't. either. Nope. And I think that needs to be addressed as well. I think it needs to be addressed like tomorrow, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. We can just put a sign out front somewhere. I was thinking about that the other day. Um, also, is this the second or third year that we've, you know, at least put in the budget 15,000 for upgrades? Haven't we done it a couple it's, times? Yeah, it's just it just keeps one, two, it rolling over. Third, rolling third. Over. It doesn't roll over. It's just still fifteen thousand dollars. Right. It, it doesn't accumulate. But yeah, and we've done this for. I think we've done it since sixteen that I know of. Yeah, I know the, uh, the you know there was early talks about different versions of what council members wanted. Some thought of a, just a small you know counter and some microwaves and things like that. And I you know I was one of the people that liked the idea of. Add just a, a small room right there, which I think how we got the price from uh, Ashball for like twenty five thousand dollars to add that room on. So I don't know. I just I, I just like the idea of getting something in here. I, you know, because when we when we started talking about that, there was a lot of positive feedback that people were really interested. You know, because there's families that do like Thanksgiving dinners here every year, and they said they'd love to have a refrigerator and a microwave at least. So I think you could do that and. Probably this corner over here, maybe. I just don't want it no look, windows. I just don't want it to look tacky. You know and, what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you, you can probably be done and put a, the refrigerator and a microwave over there and make it look right. nice. It doesn't have to be a full blown kitchen. It don't need. I don't think it would need a, uh, you know, a stove or an oven and no, stuff no, like no, that. No, no, no. Uh, Fridge. Because most fridges, people that come here, they're gonna have right, stuff and in crock pots and maybe roasters and stuff. They would need uh, counter space and a couple more outlets than, than what's over there, but mm -hmm. you know, and have them up at counter above the countertops. I don't think we would need wall units. Uh, Build a countertop, have storage there. Yeah, just have the bottom storage and maybe countertop put, and a microwave and, and, and a refrigerator. I don't. I just think just not no storage whatsoever. Just the countertop, a sink, a uh, fridge. fridge, and a microwave. microwave. Maybe a microwave, yeah. Instead of sink. Yeah, they have yeah. to have a, yeah. You have to have a sink in here. I don't think you can use those sinks in there. That'd be, yeah, I mean, if they want to wash utensils, like ice cream scoop mm -hmm. utensils or something. Yeah. And then we're getting into. Well, I think you guys need to go. To exec I mean, you guys get give us clear direction because we haven't had clear direction on which way you want to go with it. So, however, you want to. You guys want to get together maybe through executive i don't know um because what with I'm sorry. A gun track in. isn't uh what's the where's the other shelter house that's around here that we built township 
What do you know what it costs to rent? Uh, we go there every year. It's got a, like a separate kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it, it's like in the back, but it also has a like a piece of plastic going up here or something like that. I can't remember. Would be like if that was the kitchen over there. There's a doorway and a bar, like a counter with a big window, so you can pass food through there. They have a whole kitchen. It's like a buffet. Nice. Yeah. Type yeah. Of There's a. Um, I ran the concession stands for like. 15 years over there at Bethel. And um, there's a store over off Needmore that we bought a lot of equipment from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they have a lot of neat things that you probably could take a look at stainless steel, you know, pieces that could be a sink mm -hmm. and that could be hooked up. So mm -hmm. that's an option too to go there and look. So. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I think I'm probably the only one that thinks this. I, I would love to see, because I think putting something like that in here, me personally, I think it's going to take away from the building and make it look a little tacky. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Um, you know, because there's a pad. If you walk out, there's, there's a pad out there, a concrete pad. And that's about the size of what I would like to see it be. That way, you walk into that door, that door would come down. And just, you know, I'm not talking a full-blown kitchen as far as an oven or anything you know i don't think we would want anything with heating elements just in case fires and stuff but you know a microwave a sink a fridge or a freezer or both and you know but this this pad out here mike uh without knowing how it was poured if it's just concrete oh no it would have to come no i know i'm saying i'm here. saying the size of that pad is yeah, what i okay. like for the addition i think we could probably look at that but myself I would rather maybe look at it later. I don't know. Do you have any ideas what something like that would cost? You know, uh, maybe the general fund can pay for it sometime next year. And yeah, we all decide to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it, uh, I, you're probably looking at probably twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. Oh yeah. To, to have that little room built and the plumbing and the electrical. Well, that's what uh, I, appliances you can probably buy. I don't know if you'd want to buy used appliances, but uh, you can get cheaper appliances. You don't have to buy top of the line. You you know two three hundred dollars four hundred dollars for a, for a refrigerator or whatnot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the best council thinks on, on that. That, that is what I think Real how fast. we... Mr. Cook has been waiting patiently. What if we increase that to 25000 and save this discussion for later? At least you've got the money there if you want to... There you go. If, that, that's a good idea. 25000 How do you feel, council? Mr. Mm -hmm. Cobb, how do you feel? I mean, again, we're not spending it. It's just there. If, then, then, if we decide. Yeah. Then council would have to approve the expenditure. Oh, yeah. Correct. Oh, oh yeah. If anything over, yeah. This, this. I don't care if it's five thousand bucks. You guys are getting okay. like a special okay. survey, just so everyone's on the same page. Mr. Cobb, how do you feel about that? I, I, I just can't see it out there. Okay. Can't what? I didn't hear him. I can't see you having the kitchen out there. Oh, okay. okay. Mr. Cook, I'd say go ahead and increase the money there. If then at a later point we decide to do it, the money's there. Mr. Lindsay. I don't think the outside kitchen is the best way to go. I think it would cost more to do that than it would be to put it back in that corner and just make like a galley kitchen out of it. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't guess I would have a problem. I don't know if I'd want to go 25000 or not. But it's, I think that's what it's going to cost, possibly more. So, yeah. that's my opinion. All right. I'm not a big fan of the outdoor kitchen. Uh, I support the idea of having uh, stuff in here in the back, so I don't. I'm not up for the twenty-five thousand that Mr. Cook has suggested. Mr. Shannon, I have to agree because I think that project will probably cost about forty thousand when you buy everything, and maybe. Right. I'd say maybe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lara. Mm -hmm. We already kind of know what you're feeling. You kind of uh, <laughs> know what Mike thinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, he still has a, still has a right. No, no, that's fine. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing it there. I mean, because it's not me and it's being spent. But, you know, if that's the way council wants to leave it at 15, then that's why there's six of us at the current it's moment. Mr. Bridge. Uh, I would support you guys up in it, and this is why I say that. You're ending the, you have a projection of $700,000 next year. This is something that citizens come into people from outside the city come into, you want to put your best foot forward. There's been no upgrades on this since it's been built, period. 
So when I look at this, do I think the outside, I don't, I don't know, I'm no architect, but there needs to be something in that back corner or out there that's gonna keep us competitive with Bethel Township, because we lose to Bethel Township sometimes. So with that, I'm not saying a full-blown kitchen by any means, I'm not saying it has to be a five-star place, but I think the floors need to be done. I think there needs to be some sort of kitchen net back there, and I definitely need the parking lot that he's looked at. I General renovators could make it look really nice over in that corner. I mean, they can blend it into the. Yeah. the I make a recommendation. I think you guys should put twenty-five thousand in there and worry about the discussions later. I agree. Because right. it's 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 going to go back and forth. Council, how do you feel about putting twenty-five thousand in there? Mr. Cobb, you already made. Yo, yep. Mr. Yep. Cook, Mr. Lindsay. Because if not, what's going to happen is the moment these renovation happens, we're already going to be amending the capital program as is. We might as well knock it out in one stone because if not, four months down the road, if we go through these renovations, now we have to amend the capital program again. $25,000 is not going to get expended unless you guys approve it. If, if we're going to do that parking lot, I think it's going to cost more than fifteen grand to do the parking lot. It's going to, it will. That's, so if we so have to take a choice then. Either yeah, we'd have to take a choice, and I think the parking lot or is. Or put 50000 in. And, I mean, well, I'm, I'm not about to. Oh, no, no, I'm <laughs> saying, Lord, neither am I. Uh, Lord, no, but I'm saying if we're, gonna, if we're talking about doing two things this year to add that potential build on, that's 25000 what we got from Ashbaugh. Yeah, that's, at, that, was, that was from Howie. He yeah, said Ashbaugh said twenty. Never look at doing another, you know, paving the parking lot. Yeah, it's going to be more than 20. It's going to be more than 15, that's for sure. Yeah, you, right? you, you that's, think that's so. That's what yeah. I was just going to say. The parking, parking lot, lot, especially if you're thinking about widening, widening it, putting it. 15 is not enough for that. Yeah, for sure. so, so maybe you'll do 20 for, what do you think, uh, 20? At the parking lot? I think you need to go about 25. Because you'd have to have no, a strike no, too. And just remember, signage. you know, it takes a while to yeah, do all that uh, engineering and all the stuff. So it's uh, not necessarily, you, you put it there yeah. and it's, a, it's, it's in the piggy bank if, we need, if we're going to do one or two projects. It's there. So do you, you don't do put it there, now? then you yeah. can't do no. it. Work now? So, I, so do you wish we did 25000 for road repairs or park repair? Wouldn't that be our topic? Wasn't there two different lines here for that, right? There's one for updates, and then there's one for asphalt, concrete, which has nothing. Right? Yeah, but that's yep, that. We well, that's there. yeah. That, but that it is. But here's right. the thing. I mean, it's a capital improvement for your shelter. So it doesn't so matter it, where it, it goes. No, it needs to go in your capital line. Mm -hmm. Okay. That. So we already in our capital line. We already have thirty-two grand. Well, capital outlay. In our capital outlay. Yeah, are you talking parts? Yeah. You yeah. So parts. we don't need to move any money around if we. If Hold council on. doesn't support the twenty-five thousand, but which obviously that doesn't. For, what, oh no 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 the, no. You said it was it, the, playground no, equipment. The thirty-two thousand. I'm sorry. Is is the playground equipment, bike trailer shops, and a mower? Okay. And the shelter house addition upgrade is a fifteen thousand. Mr. Cow, you're talking about what the blacktop driveway? Yes. Blacktop or con concrete? Blacktop's really expensive. Isn't it? No, it's cheaper Black than concrete. Cheap. 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 Well, much cheaper than concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap. Well, you have experience in construction. Well, how much do you think it's going to cost to blacktop that? Well, the first thing, you're looking at close to 40000 because they're going to have to put a new base down. Just yep. for the base? The yeah. base is going to be close to 15000 yep. Oh. Okay. Because it's fungy out there. What about mill and pill? Uh -huh. What okay. about mill and pill? Well, you can't mill it. There's nothing there to mill. Well. You're going to, you're going to know. mill the crowd. Hey, I live on the second worst road in the city, so trust me, it works. Uh, it I'm just works. going to let you all know, it works. He's so, the beneficial of the mill. Yeah. It works. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you right now, the second worst city in the, in the city of New Carlisle. It works. It works. You got blacktop over there. <laughs> but they're going to have to come in, take out the old base, 
put a new stone base down before they laid the blacktop. Yep. And I guarantee you're looking close to this base alone, 15000 All All we're looking at is to put the money in there in the event that we decide to go ahead with this. Right. So if we put 25000 or 50000 and decide not to go with it, we're not going over budget, guys. Right. We're, we're losing the the whole ramification here. Yeah, it's not it's not going anywhere unless you we know, say as so. long as we've got the money, put it in there. If we want to do it, fine. If we don't, it's gonna be there when you get done. And it's still our approval too, whether we do it or not. Right. As long as it's underneath. No, uh, any anything like that I'll put you. I'm not gonna anything like that you guys are yeah, gonna So handle. regardless if it's there okay. or not, it's Mr. Cobb, how do you feel? Good. Twenty-five thousand in it. Better go with more than that. Huh? You think it better go with more than that? We I'll put a road more in. Than that. What do you think? I, you want to go to fifty? Go to fifty. I agree with what you said. Like, yep. Miss Miss Ms. McKenzie. Miss McKenzie. Mr. Lindsay, go ahead. The uh, I'm not uh, real interested in putting fifty thousand in there. I think this parking lot road is going to have to be done over a couple of years. Uh, I would be willing to go the 25, but I'm, I was no way I would go 50 on that. And then next year, when you do the budget, put another 25. That's in. not how it works. Then you're just rolling back over the 25. No, because you'll be you, done you, next year. You're not going to get. You're not. Well, he just said you're not going to pay that down there for 25,000 now. You, so, go in there, you go in there and pay. You go in there and pay part of part of it now. Come back and pay the other part. The first part you just pay the run. <clears throat> because what they pick up in the bad stones and asphalt track back over to new one, you just ruined it. But I'm not. I'm talking about just doing the gravel work this no, year. It won't last like, long. It won't. Why, why, if they no. redo a new base, why wouldn't it? Because you put the gravel down, that. you get all kinds of rain and traffic over that. You're going to pump it. It's not going to work. Okay, that right. makes sense. Okay. Just, I just want to say, just remember that when you're allocating money, appropriating a, a money in, in a particular line item, you're putting it there for you know a reason. We're talking about whatever, but um, when you don't spend it, it, it's in that line item and it won't be spent anywhere else. So if you put it there, it's kind of a savings there. So if you don't get to it this year, I mean, with your discussions later on on how or what or what you want to do. Um, the money still is in our account, but it holds it there so it isn't spent anywhere else. So it's, you got to just like sometimes you got to think of terms. It's just like, like that. going to the bank. Take fifty thousand, you put it in the bank. If we decide not to do anything, it's there in the bank, guys. That's what we're talking about. We're not overspending. It's just yeah, still there. Yeah, we're not overspending, and you don't have to go back. If you only put twenty-five in there, and this thing comes in at fifty. Now you either got transfer funds or you're hung to next year. Mr. Cup, Mr. Cop. Um, I'll get to you too in a second. Oh, sorry. you're fine. Let me ask a question, question here. Let's, let's stay with the 50, but let's see if we can get an asphalt company come in here and give us a rough idea of what it's going to cost. I'm fine with that. Huh? I'm fine with that. We, you know, it may he may find a good stretch of gravel out there he doesn't have to tear out, but it's real bad up here in the cul de sac or the circle. Yeah. Council how do we feel about fifty? I'm fine with fifty. The roads. All right. Fifty. Quote asphalt. Any recommendations on companies? And B U would probably be one of the local. Okay. I'll give you guys later about quotes. So this is going under Shelter House renovations. Renovations. What did you guys decide on? 50. 50. Okay. Any other comments on this page? We wore those out. All right. I know, right? All right. Special events and lands and buildings. Mr. Bridge. Um. I don't know what to put in for this special events for parks and rec board. So 3,500 was 10,000 last year. I just put it, I did have it as a thousand, but I upped it up. That's your guys' discussion. I don't know what they are doing. You it earlier. Parks and rec. This is the one you were commenting on earlier for parks and rec board. 
Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of curious what they what did they spend the money? They didn't do anything last year because their bylaws have they not didn't been approved. Get the money, right? Yeah, they didn't. Well, they there's like they spent about five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. That's all they spent. Oh, they they Who has to approve the bylaw? Well, that, and that has, has to get them to us. To us. <laughs> as far as I know, I, I thought it came back to you guys from the attorney. Not that I'm. Um, sure. You want my honest opinion? I think that the bylaws I'll get with Lynette. I don't think they've come back yet, but it doesn't need to be so complicated. We don't need a 60-page booklet for our bylaws. It just needs to be pretty simple. Um, Actually, you're wrong because you have existing bylaws you can go off of from the previous Parks and Rec board. Yeah. Are we to? Now, they haven't to been. To. I don't see why. I don't. They were they voted down before the previous bylaws? Nope. Were they voted in before? Well, what happened Pass was we before. were trying to do events, and then Mr. Pope brought up the subject of the bylaws and that he wanted to amend the bylaws and just kind of talk about that. But well, yeah, but. The Huber Heights bylaws also govern their board of zoning appeals, their planning board, and it was just too encompassing for what we needed. Yeah, we just so. need direction. We don't um, need but I think the hookup was that last year was them finding out what they can and cannot do so they don't make the union mad, and it was just right. yep. call me and find out. Mr. Yeah. Cobb, you've had comments on that? Are you buying 35? Do you want to go higher? Do you want to go lower? Well, I mean, Mr. Bridge is talking about wanting to plant flowers and stuff. If the that, Parks and Rec would do that. That wouldn't be Parks and Rec. That'll be underneath the seasonal employees. You could put it under Parks and Rec. No, because no. the union would complain big time. That would be something that would If you go out here and put flowers right out of here to opening, that's Parks and Rec. No, that's seasonal. that's seasonal employment. Yeah, Parks and Rec was more for like programs like Easter egg hunts and stuff like that. They can't take work away from a city position. Like that's where we hung up on last year. Office. Yeah, you know. So when it comes to maintaining the flower beds, that's more of an in-house paid position. <coughs> Mr. Cook, mm -hmm. I'm okay with what we've got. Mr. Lindsay. Mr. Bridge said he originally had that at a thousand dollars. I think fifteen hundred would be plenty. I just had it as a thousand as a placeholder. I Pardon? figured I, I just put something in there as a placeholder originally. Okay. So I figured you guys would discuss that. I figured Mrs. McKenzie would be here. I'm sure they have a whole slew of great things they would like to do. So I think there should be something in their form because I would anticipate this year that the whole bylaw fiasco is done and over with, and they can start putting on events for the city. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, I feel so. like Mr. Lindsay feels at 15. Mr. Shammy. Fifteen to two thousand. Mr. Lowry. I'm fine with thirty-five uh, because yeah, I fifteen's kind of kind of close for him. Uh, you know, thirty-five. I mean, putting on events is not cheap. I mean, it's you know. No. Flyers. Is it going if, they, if they do is anything it for the fireworks yeah. event coming on, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, the thousand no way was indicative of what I think they should have. If you ask me, I think they should have about five or six, maybe back up to the ten that they had to begin with last year because they didn't get a chance to use it. Um, but then again, I just left it open for you guys to discuss because I'm sure that would have been a topic of discussion the council would like to get at. Do you all want to compromise in the middle at twenty seven fifty? Well, I mean, we had it at ten last year, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. Well, I'd like to see what you can do with 20, 27 first. Just I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't know why we would go such a drastic cut from ten when we agreed on ten last year. Mr. Cook. Again, we're missing the point of this whole budget session, guys. It's put the money in there. Again, if they don't spend it. Again, like Mike has said, you're talking about doing events. Those don't come cheap. If you're going to do an Easter egg hunt, you're going to blow fifteen hundred dollars on publication quick. alone, just for promoting it. Yeah. Yeah, and for you know, if, eggs. if they have anything else yeah. in there, we used to have Chautauqua down here. We don't have that anymore. Right. There could be a 
you know, a musical situation okay. developed in the park, but that's going to cost money. You can't get a band for less than $350, $400. We spent on the ball drop, which is a three hour event, we spent almost $1,000 on advertising just for that one event. That's only three hours. But that's a massive event with, I mean, and this is a cut it's a, but, but again, you're, you've got to return some of this money to the people. You've got to provide events to get people into the parks. We're just putting money in the piggy bank, guys. We're not doing anything other than that. Would you guys be willing to compromise on maybe like seven or eight instead of the full ten? Seven or eight thousand? Mm -hmm. Mr. I have Scott, no go ahead. Where are you at number wise? You go with thirty five, you wanna go up, you wanna go down? I don't have a problem with the thirty five hundred. Mr. Cook, I think you're you're at seven to eight. <laughs> if if they want to go to seven eight, again we're only putting money in a fund. <clears throat> We're not setting any precedent here as what we're going to spend. It's almost in like the, piggy bank. the board's created, but yet there's a leash on it with what they can and cannot do. That's the thing. Like you, the board was created to do just this. You can put 50 in there. They don't use it, it rolls back over. I mean, it's the same concept. Like I said, you put the 10 in there. I, they, have, they should have a fair shot. They didn't get to do what they needed to do last year. Mr. Lindsay. I would not be good with anything over 35. Can I ask why? The, is the, their um, stuff done from Lynette yet? Or is it going to be done? Are they going Actually, to be able to uh, do anything or? Um, again, if you put 10 in there and, and nothing gets done, then the 10 just is there at the end of the year like it never even happened to begin with. Uh, but I think. I wouldn't be good with that. I'm at Mr. 35. Mr. <clears throat> oh, let's go to Shammy, then you. Yes, sir. I'll do 35. 35. There's four members in favor of 35. Mr. Lowry. Okay. Well, I just I, I just don't understand really the, the thought behind it because we the city's better off than what we were last year, and we're cutting it down to $7,000 less. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I, I guess my feeling is, is that we, we were together when we only had $195. When who? When we only had $195. Oh, okay, I couldn't hear you. you know, like, that still will always live down, in my memory, is a very, very scary moment for us when Lynette, not Lynette, Kim Jones came in and said, hey, we have $195, $195, and we're like, $195,000 or $195? And it was just $195. And so mm -hmm. that will always bear, in my mind, about being fearful. Because we cut two cops. I know we're not near that yet, but you know our levy's up next year. That fails. I, but I think that's, that we should, this is my personal view of it. Well, if that's, if that's your outlook, I think we should be really reconsidering the project. Because you're looking at $7,000 for that. I mean, this is, this is a Parker wreck. Of and spots. the answer back to that would be we've already spent that much in rent in less than 10 years at the building we're currently at. So sure. I, I don't think that has an apple. That's a massive difference between the two. Well, I wasn't so. saying it's between the two, but I'm saying it's but seven thousand dollars ain't going to make or break the budget this year. Yeah. The other the other project would. Yeah, I think counts. From my understanding, is we're pretty locked in at three thousand five hundred. Miss McKenzie, you have something to say? Yeah, um, I think I think you're missing the point here. Um, the thing that he said, you're putting money in as like a piggy bank, but you're not we're not going out and spending twenty five thousand dollars on the event, but. It would be nice if we could do things for citizens' families and um, things that other cities have, but we don't just because we haven't been able to get it organized because of money or moving. So just to have that much money, you're saying we could do like an Easter egg hunt and maybe something for Christmas. That's it. Mm -hmm. If that's all you, if, if that's all we feel we can provide for families and children here, then I don't think that's good enough. Thank you for your opinion. Let me ask you this. 
If we go back to my manager page, we cut some things out of that to give it to the park and the no. board. No, let's just run an experiment here. We'll just take something from the manager department to make it make it equal out because I really do believe that the parks and rec board should have some money to do programs with the citizens for. So that being said, um, let's just cut my some of my stuff. So Mr. I'm willing to take my capital. Mr. Bridge, one second. Mr. Yeah. Cook was first. Okay. Our proposed budget is <coughs> what the general fund nine hundred and forty nine thousand ballpark. Okay. After expenses, it goes down to 904. All right, and what have we done? We've increased, 20. what, two or 3,000 so far? 20. No, a lot more than that. Put 20, we put 50,000. 50,000? Well, okay, we're probably, in the 50, uh, no. $35,000 increase? $35,000 increase. Estimate. All right, so if, if we go Sorry. throw another seven in the what's called your 42,000 over and above the 949. Our actual budget for 2018 was 829, and we had a surplus of 150,000. When last year? Yeah. Well, the surplus was uh, we ended last year with 870, no, 829. Was 817,000? We ended last no, we ended last year with 949 dollars, 949,000. Is that what you're asking? But. I see what you're saying. That's what we ended with, but projection ended is seven hundred and five thousand plus. We have to take off another thirty-five off that seven hundred five, so it now goes into the six hundreds. Yeah, but if you look at our net difference every year at the end of it, we usually carry over about three hundred. In sixteen, we carried over three hundred fifty-five thousand dollars because we underspent the budget. In seventeen, we carried over three hundred four thousand because we underspent the budget. Uh, last year in eighteen, we only brought over one twenty-five seventy, but we also had a lot of big capital expenses, especially within the finance department. Potential loss yeah. of 20, 20, 240. But, so, but the point is, this is a wish budget. Nothing has been said we're going to spend this money. I would when, much when rather. When you pass a budget, that means they spend the money. No, it doesn't. We, 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 we have the ability to spend the money. Well, we have so the it's ability to spend $20,000 and then everything. You didn't have. spend 10000 in the parks last no. year. You, you saved 2000 on the fireworks. Then we anticipated. Mr. Cobb, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. I think everyone up there is including me. We're very passionate about the money and what we carry over. The mayor and vice mayor, I get it 100%. You, we want to watch that bottom line. Anyone who owns a business or runs a business knows you got to spend money to make money. It's, it's that simple. So I, I appreciate the open discussion we're having because I think that everyone up there has a valid answer. And yes, Mr. Mayor Reynolds, you are right. It was a very good wake-up call for this city four or five years ago. Some of you guys weren't there for that. I was sitting in the room when it happened. It was a, a, a very gross feeling. So I understand that, but we're in a much better position now, guys. And I respect the watching those funds. But just because it's in there doesn't mean it's going to get approved. So just keep that, just please keep that in mind when you're thinking about it. Mr. Lindsay. I have a question for Ms. McKenzie, Mrs. McKenzie. What type of events are you thinking of doing in 19? I know uh, last year I seen on Facebook where there was an Easter egg hunt uh, advertised and planned and whatnot, and then it didn't happen. It was on Facebook it was going to happen at a certain date. Uh, I, I don't think you put it on. Somebody else put it on there. I don't even remember what her name was. Uh, who? It's Brandy. Yes. We uh, But what I'm getting at, it was advertised mm -hmm. publicly, mm -hmm. even if it was Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then people showed up and there wasn't nothing there. So I got phone calls on it. I've never heard anything about that. Well, since you're not on council, you probably wouldn't. And they probably don't know that you're in charge of the, of the Parks and Recs. I don't know if Mr. Mm -hmm. Bridge got any calls on it or not. Not a one. I okay. Didn't, sir. The, I mean, it's easy to but, explain the and I understand that. So if, if you do the Easter egg hunt, what other plans do you have through the summer for, for ac activities or events or whatever so you're looking we at? So went over those last year, the same events. We would want to do a food truck rally. Um, we want to do some Christmas uh, type program. We would really like to have Santa down here. The park looks beautiful and it has snow everywhere. It would be nice to have an event down here for that. Um, there's a list of things that we were working on last year. We just weren't able to do it. 
I'm up for 5,000. Just to end this, we meet somewhere in the middle between the two sides, get it done and over with. We spent 20 minutes yeah. on this discussion over a couple of thousand. So, no offense, Mr. Lindsay. I, I have one but, uh, thing to say. I'll get to you, but Mr. Lyra, how do you feel about 5,000? I, I can go with that. All right, Mr. Chammy, how do you feel about 5,000? Yeah. Mr. Lindsay, how do you feel about 5,000? I'd be good with that, but I, I also Before, want to know. Mr. Lindsay, wait a second. Mr. Cook, how do you feel about that? Do it. Mr. Cobb? Go ahead. All right, Mr. <laughs> Lindsay, you have your last two minutes on the topic. Go ahead. When are we going to uh, the bylaws for them? I would recommend you guys probably get new bylaws. It's more in line with the city of New Pearl out. Ne needs to get done. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you need a 60-page bylaw that also oh, governs your planning board and board is doing appeals. The, the bylaws we had before, I, one time I had a copy of them. I'm not, I'd have to look for it. You may have a copy. In fact, I think I got it from you. Once you bring those bylaws forward, and we'll tweak them a little bit if we have to, and then just pass them. All right. Well, and that'd have to be a vote through council to pass. Cause that'd well, be exactly. I mean, it'd have to be brought before council. Let's just get it running. And waited a you year know, for Lynette. Yeah, we waited a year forward. on Lynette, and God knows how many thousands of dollars. And well, that's not true, and it's kind of no. Okay. Well, yeah, we she just a didn't year do anything with it. That's my opinion. Uh, it's all right. No, because we don't have them yet. We're off track. Anyhow, all right. Moving on. Uh, oh, yes. No, no, no. It's in the same page. Oh, that's going to do fireworks. Go ahead, <laughs> Mr. I, Lowry. No, that's no. Go ahead. I, that's what we were moving on to. That's what I was just going to. Uh, I, I just was hoping you weren't going off the page. No, gosh, no. So no, I'm all for it because it was a. Uh, I think locally it was great for the local economy. Oh yeah, I, absolutely. I agree. Yes. Is that something you guys want to up? Or, or Matter of fact, this is one second, Mr. Uh, Cook. Mr. Rain, Mr. Bridge, sorry. Uh, did you get a call from like a firework company out of Piqua? A what? A firework company out of Piqua. I got a call I got a, four months ago about I got a random, American fireworks. Maybe? Yeah, I got a random call today. Yeah, from very company, random. And I was like, oh, well, you talked to our city manager. So I don't know if he called you or not. And he said he could actually do just exactly what the other company did, but at a cheaper rate. I mean, I don't know if we want to be more loyal to Rosie, who's been here for, for us, or, mm -hmm. or what the deal is for us, the price, but I just want to throw that out there that we could get more bang for our buck with another company. We don't know where it's at yet, but I just randomly got a call. So I, no, yeah. I gave him the sure. office number. So. Oh, thank you. But, but wait a second, Mr. Lowry. I got a message too. I forget who the company was. Like though. Aaron or something? From I think it's American. American, American, but it was like his name was Aaron. He was from like Piqua, right? Yeah, but it's he had same one the cattle number. company used. Yes, yes, yep, same one the cattle company used. He, so. he didn't mention that today. Yeah, uh, no, cattle, I thought Evans used Rosy. Uh, the didn't cattle did not use Rosy. They used American Firework. Yeah, yeah. Evans did, and they were happy. With, they were good. They seemed yeah, to be happy. Them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we saw. <laughs> Mr. Cock. take take understanding there. The smaller shell you go, yeah, you're going to save money. They told us that last year. If we went to a three inch, two inch, we saved money. But you don't have the, the big spectacular height. and the height up there. Yeah. Mr. Chan. Yes, Mr. Mayor. What if we, does, would anybody know about uh, uh, having it on the radio? Like radio, was it syndication or something like that? You mean for advertising? No, like, um, that's what they did. I know Austin's a little bit bigger than New Carlisle. Are you trying to, like, say, like, Channel 7 era fireworks? Show? Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't, is that goofy, or? Yeah, I think we're, I think it's way too small of a show. I mean, I mean, I could be wrong, but I was assuming that, like, WEBN, fireworks for Labor Day yeah. is, is a massive event that brings half a million people, people. in. I just think, <laughs> I mean, it was um, first I mean, I don't, I don't know. It may be something new the local station would want to do, but I assume they would probably go to a city that spends a lot more on their fireworks. Yeah. Than it yeah. was our first time. The execution was good as it was going to be. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The DJ was great. Food was great. It was, a, it was a fantastic event. Like, I would like to see more money in there, but that's, that's actually that's what I have to say. I want to, see, I want to see $5,000 more in there. I thought we had an excellent show. I don't but. know. I didn't get to see it. Oh, oh yeah. no. But just, Boy, you sure prep for it all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just the Talk about shortening of the stick. Are you all right? What's going on? Oh, Charlie. Charlie. Okay. okay. Good. Well, we can handle Charlie first. Probably so. I mean, you had a you had a record night, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think that. Really. Yeah, I think we should increase it. 
how does council feel about five thousand, Mr. Cook? Well, before you get into that, I mean, I'm all for increasing it. However, there is a possibility of tying in with the cattle company, and they spent X amount of dollars. And I had talked with them last year, which was too late, yeah. to incorporate them into our show for this year, or for last year. Also, I think possibly Mr. The Holder, R.D. Holder, will be throwing some money our way. And I have approached Mike about his group taking that fireworks over because the two people that did it and the mayor got involved with some of the other peripheral stuff. I think we need more cooperation from everybody concerned in order to make this thing go. It can be whatever you want it to be. Yeah. And we also got to put money in there for a tow truck to rent too as well. Oh, it makes sense in there. <laughs> Mr. Cobb and Mr. Cook. Tow truck wouldn't go in there. 1230 at night is not fun. <laughs> for like I, I believe I pulled him out. It was a fantastic event. <laughs> yeah, I want to tell you I wasn't there. No, you was not. <laughs> that is fair. No, <laughs> you were there on the night we got him stuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll say one. Give me whenever they're done. I think they're good, Mr. Lowry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I would like to see it go up. To, I mean, you're, Wait, I'm assuming you're talking 15. Going? Yes. We, we, we budgeted 10, right, but we only spent eight. So yeah, eight. Right. I mean, I would like to say budgeted at 10 and do 10 instead of eight. That's just me. Huh? That's all well, I said. Again, if we go to the smaller shell, we're going to get more bang for our buck. You know, but I think these are things that we need to talk with American and with Rossi. Do you just want to take us 12 so we can do 10? Because just in case they're, you know, if they need right at 10. Excuse me. I mean, they used four inch shells over here last year and a few three for the 10,000 we paid. Eight. Huh? 8,000. 8,000, excuse me. $81. If you go smaller down to three and twos, you don't get the height up in the sky. Yeah, I know. Not you couldn't see the, watch go. You couldn't see the ones that the cattle company did at all, but you could see the ones the city did. Yeah. Great, great. So I think, I like 15. What do you think, Mr. Lowry? We'll start this way and work way back that way. Okay. I don't have a problem with 15. Um, maybe. Just you, say yes, you, Mike. Do you want to tell <laughs> Can I use that same on you when I need something? <laughs> Just say yes. I don't know. <laughs> this is what yes. it is. <laughs> okay, let me ask your two opinion on this. I mean, obviously, we're going to take the the you know the hit publicly if someone says, "Oh, you're spending now, you're spending more on fireworks." You don't, but I mean, what do you think? Well, I've been to very big fireworks. I was born in New York, so I've seen big shows, and I was there. I came to the pool, and it was a spectacular show for mm -hmm. the amount of money. It was. Right. I was very impressed with that, um, and the the perception of the public and all the people and all your residents. It was such a good feeling that you money did well this, spent. and and like she said, it it brought in a lot of money for the pool. Um, so we get half the money back anyway, in a different venue. But um, I think it's a really good thing, and it's a good thing for the residents here. It's a feel-good thing booster. that we're doing. Oh, yeah. You're always going to have some naysayers when you're of spending course. money, but I think this is a good thing. And I, you know, with uh, the pricing of everything, you don't want not want to have enough money to do at least what you did last year. Right. So. You know, once again, you put the money in there. We don't have to spend it. We find something, you know, it's 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 one of those things again. But I think it was such a good thing for this city to do that. Oh, yeah. It was a very positive. Yeah, I, I heard, uh, like I said, I don't know if it's true I wasn't up there. I heard that Jason's the, at the ice cream store, I heard he was just slammed. Yeah, that's he what was, I think. Yeah. All parked with yeah. it. Tons of yeah. people, too. The all the businesses. Was packed. Speedway sure. was packed. I heard that uh, IGA sold adult beverages more that night than any yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it was crazy how was the crowd control that night was it <laughs> all of those people oh yeah it was like control. we didn't have any issues traffic we thought we were gonna have an issue with traffic people coming in and out no issues directing traffic at the end of the night and, and they were arrow queen was extremely busy i mean i think everything went really smooth for being the first year sure yeah, yeah. well okay. but i think I'm we need extra police patrol and 
particularly that trap in Light Dirt Lake. So maybe we need to figure that. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, extra duties went for thirty nine dollars an hour. Twenty nine dollars an hour. So we're going to have to add more. We're going to get that's something we're going to have to think yeah, about. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, you can make it a mandatory work day. I mean, it's on usually what a. Do you do it on Fourth of July or is it no. like a Saturday? No. Yeah. You always, you, always try, you always try and pick a date where someone next to you isn't doing it. Doing it. Like Eden. <laughs> right. I mean, so typically there'd be two of us here anyhow. Um, you know, you contract those other two deputies that work out here and Underwood has them work that day. And so we do like got four people out here. June 29th or something like that. The Saturday or we do the 6th of July or, you know. But yeah, I think. I'm sorry. fine with, no, I'm, you're fine. I'm fine with 15. I mean, it's a good, it's a good morale boost for the city, which is, we always need. All right. Mm -hmm. That's great PR wise too. Right. One second, we'll get to you. We're gonna go down line, Mr. Shannon. Didn't we talk about more food trucks as well? Yeah, we had yeah. two. That's uh, all. That's not always as easy said as done, but yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, well that's where the Parks and Rec Board can come in for their food truck drive. Food trucks get booked for those really early. Yeah, almost mm -hmm. a year or two in advance. I'm sure they are. Uh, Mr. I'm, I'm good with it. Mr. Lindsay. Fifteen. Yep. I don't know. Mike wants too much money. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cook. <laughs> Skip him. I was, I was going to. Mr. Cook, how do you feel about 15? I'm, I'll to go with whatever you want to. I don't care. Fantastic. <laughs> Mr. Cop. 100,000? No. <laughs> Maybe not that much. Right? No, so. We'll make a harbor. What would it cost us to have two more deputies for? What is twenty nine dollars an hour? Twenty nine dollars an hour. I want more than that, though. So you're it, saying instead of four, like do even more than that? I think we give Bob a four. How is traffic control at the end of it? Because uh, I will gladly pay back. to have. It, it wasn't bad. Way, it wasn't I will pay for the deputies for two hours. You and I were the only ones out, and we were both. I bought the, the, the detail. Detail. Last night, you know, if, and everything you, else. You know, if you had one or two people doing bike patrol, kind of covering the grounds, and then one deputy who just came out for that last you know, hour and just had, you know, a cruiser visible to kind of assist with some of that traffic control to help. But it actually was not you, bad, bad. Do you, considering that there wasn't a car, go ahead. car out there. Oh, okay, so traffic control, uh, Mr. Cook and I were on traffic control and I was stating That explains right. all the wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he tried to push me out in the traffic, but uh, I find myself uh, directing traffic out of uh, IGA. IGA parking lot and um, without a bright flashlight. Okay. Oh, oh. No, no. But that's stuff we can prepare for ourselves. So if it's thirty dollars an hour, Should just say it's thirty dollars like, an hour. Your times that by good. it's ninety dollars an hour. So we have them there for five hours. It'll be four hundred fifty bucks. Well, and keep in mind too, I, uh, the Which is deputy who well oversees the Explorer program, like I was kind of telling you, Mr. Bridge, um, they have uh, young people, anywhere from 18 to 21, who are basically like cadets. They are uniformed oh, people. Free. They do not carry guns. They are just um, basically kind of training, learning some things. Where, but they can wear the best, and I mean, they would be able to do traffic control as well. And they are free. Good. They do not get paid. They just are putting in volunteer hours. So we could, you know, utilize That's five or six idea. of them. There we go. Yeah. Mr. Cobb. Oh, freeze always good. Have we ever took care of Mr. Hastings for his? That's something we need to get on. Because I'd hate to ask him again after we promised to yeah. apply. We'll, we'll get to that. Who? I'm running. Who? What? Not Mr. Hastings, but I know you're talking. Or Hensley. Hensley. I got, you. I got what you were putting down. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. He don't want one. I know. No one want no one. No, no, no. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I, I, I know. Did I tell you? Yeah, you did. Okay. So, all right. 15. Is it 15? Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was Woo. a great event. I appreciate you. Lands and buildings. And can I also say all of our food vendors need to be self-contained as far as power and water? No, they, that, that won't happen. Yeah, yeah, water does happen. Oh, they got generators now? Yeah, they, they got they generators. generators. Do they need a ba battery back, I like electrical backup, though? No. No. Apparently, no. flight members have to be self-contained. You don't provide any power. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. yeah all of them, you know, they, they, as far as water, that's no big deal. We get the water. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, water, the, water the water ran, water ran for, for uh, sure. Whittier's that's wings. That's not a yeah, so they had, so Whittier's Wings had to use the water. So. Then they have to plug into electricity too? Yeah. yeah. That's why I knew there was well, one. We can get water But too. he had a generator there. Yeah, he's got a generator there. But as far as electric, he kept kicking yeah, the breaker he, in the concession. In. Yeah, I don't think they, yeah, they don't think they use the, the generator. Got it. Yeah, he has a generator because he sits up here. Yeah, well, I'm saying he didn't use it on that day. I'm not saying he doesn't have one. 
All righty, 15. Mr. Bridge, lands and buildings. Uh, anything stick out other than the six bigger item down there at the bottom? Towards yep. the bottom? Yep, yep. I see it. Looks good. Next. Next. <laughs> Just <laughs> count it. <laughs> Any no, comments on this page? No, no comments. No. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what? This is one. Huh? What about what? What do you what? Yeah, the very last page says it's like four years. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Miscellaneous. Oops, forgot about that. <laughs> Just a secret from the camera. No one knows secret about that. <laughs> you know, it's all right. Uh, all right. It <laughs> Mr. Bridge. Um, Miscellaneous. Any discussion? Council? Mm -hmm. Hearing none. Next the, page. Oh, Mr. Lindsay. The computer and software is that. Uh, for the finances? This is miscellaneous. So it can be used in okay, so it can be used for whatever. Okay. You know, so if we have to get like um, antivirus updates or stuff like that. Okay. Yep. And uh, obviously we have yeah. to have forty five thousand scheduled for our audit fees. Because yeah, do you think I'm <laughs> um, loving up job? You can make that change, maybe. Uh, we have a new state auditor. I don't work for Mr. Faber. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. Well, you can't like flex the muscles over. <laughs> 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 Again, well, has a home rule statement. You know, yeah. No elected official has the authority to tell another official. To no. um, oh yeah, yeah. One thing I do want to pick out about this. Okay. Um, codification, codification update. If you look at the history of that five thousand five fifty nine, three thousand proposed. Yeah. When I got the quote back last year, we didn't have enough in the budget. Um, so I actually had to put more in there. I don't anticipate us using the whole full 12, but we, I didn't send our codification update in last year. I'm only required to do it once every five years, but when you do that, you're stuck with a massive charge at year five because it's not cheap to do this. Um, so I need to do 17 and 18 off of this $12,000. So if anyone is worried about why there's such an increase, that's why. And what that does, if you go online, WW Cotton, you follow our codes online, it's updated that way. That's yeah. that's we a company actually does that. And that's what it's American for. Legal Publishing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They handle most of them. So again, we only require you to do it every five years. The last time I did it was in sixteen. So if you guys wanted to hold off, we would have to anticipate a bigger charge the longer we wait. Yeah, we've had a lot of legislation updates too. It's, fees it cut, was a lot. fees move up, down yeah. mostly this last past year. We have a lot of legislation. So I would say okay. that's fine. So keep in mind what does council feel on that? I think that's fine. Just yeah, I, I think the twelve thousand is fine. If that comes if that is higher than the twelve, we'll have to come back through to amend the yeah. uh, uh, appropriations. I don't think it will come in 12. If it does come in over 12, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But it needs to be done at some point. Fantastic. All right, last. OK, one. you will notice that there is no transfer into the swimming pool. How does council feel about that? Awesome. Where is that at? Should we put something there just in case? Just so Michael feels nice. Well, I'm counting on it's April. Not a, it's not about Michael or <laughs> April. It's about if it's going to potentially help the pool. I think we should put something in there just in case. But I think it's something at the end of the year. If we need to do it, we can, uh, we'll can. we have to go through the processes again. You guys can more well put something in there. Uh, we we love the blanks the budget. you guys can discuss. Yeah. If we don't have it in there, you bust it. So <clears throat> let's not bust it, right? Well. What, what about some of the equipment down there? Is there any <clears throat> possibility? Oh, God. I mean, I don't want to see another pool heater go or... <laughs> <laughs> it's well, I know, but <laughs> 95. 95. 95. Ninety-five. 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 Ninety
It's Sorry. not going to hurt to put it in there to help protect it. Yeah. I mean, if it needs it, great. If not, then it just rolls back up. Mr. Cobb. Once again, I want to see an increase of non resident Huber Heights, Please. Tip City, yeah. from Rain, Englewood, and everybody else charges extra for a for single, and they charge extra for a family. And I'd like to see that added in there. Is that for out of town people, is what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, non resident. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking same, at this year. Same thing um, that Randy said, even with the pool parties, people will call and have a member, their friend is a member, purchase their pool party rate. There is, you know, an increase if you're a member or non member for perks of the pool, basically. So they'll, what they'll do is they'll get a member to book it in their name and pay so that they do get the cheaper rate. I'm not, I'm not talking about booking parties, I'm talking about the individual walks up to the gate. And we should do the same. But we have already circulated the 2019 rate flyers, you know, those have already been set. Real fast, do you know what they charge at uh, Huber Heights and Tet? Um, they do charge more than us. I think I'm going to eight dollars a person, but they have the water. Our, yeah. Aspect. And what do we charge? Let's we charge six, six for adults and five for children. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just was wondering. Sorry. Thank you. I see what you're saying, Mr. Cobb. That's something that, you know, is it a budget item? That's one that we'll have to discuss in council to actually make that vote if we would choose to raise fees. So if you want to raise fees, then uh, you can make a motion at the next meeting, not the next budget meeting, but the next meeting to do that. And uh, we'll vote on it then. All right. Mr. Lowry. What was that look? <laughs> um, OK, so the, if we were to put any money into here, uh, you know, whatever it is, 5,000, 10, 20, 30, whatever it may be, uh, that can be used for upgrades or whatever it's needed. Sure, whatever, you, I mean, whatever it's needed. Well, you, you have to, have, you, go ahead, sorry. Sorry, if the pool doesn't have enough money to, to you know, um, be sufficient on its own, the pool fund, but remember that $11,000 that we spent last year, we're not spending this year, so we even have another eleven in that pool fund that's available. Right. So, but yes, you're absolutely right. If you put money in here, once again, it's the same idea as all the funds. It's just there for safekeeping. And, well, I mean, and if, me personally, there's a hand, I mean, there's the wish list of things I'd love to see done at the pool. I mean, it's made up, you know, $40,000 turnaround. <laughs> well, you already done your capital for 19. So I don't know, would you, would you add anything for the pool capital in 19? Well, And there's only 10,000 in there for pool maintenance in 2019. Okay. The good thing about that, though, is we always can amend. Yeah. So, Mike, what's your ideas? <laughs> Sorry, Randy. I, Mike, go ahead. I, I want to hear it. Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> what, what, what ideas of updates? I, I think you have a lot of great ideas. It hasn't changed since it was open, yep. other than paint. <laughs> I mean, yep. you, you know the bathrooms that are in there? Oh, yes. They're open ceilings. It's it's kind of gross, to be honest. And they have like the bathtub type urinal. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a like a horse. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I I never used the restroom. I would literally go home, come back, and that was how I answered. That, that says it right there. <laughs> the trough. The trough. Yeah. 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 The trough. I didn't think about. Yeah. The okay. So, oh, I you know, but I think women are a little bit more picky about restrooms than men. It's they also a draw. swimming pool. <laughs> like I mean, Lord, you my swimming pool bathroom was. I wear flip flops even going to the. You floor. budgeted thirty five last year to transfer, so budget twenty this year, and I mean you're still or fifteen, and you're still you're under. cutting the budget from last year. This year. The, the one thing that needs fixed is <coughs> that the pool lights, the inside pool lights, mm -hmm. they're old, <coughs> and that's and to me that's a serious safety concern. But that should have been discussed when we we're doing the capital program. Yeah. Well, we're here now. I mean, we can amend. So. Well, I'll, I'll go into that conversation later. Because I have also other issues with that, as far as how some of that. But it's not no, that's a charter issue. Because I don't. I mean, it is. I can't. That's the way that we have to do it. We do capital first, and then go. No, no, no. I no. You're. That's gotcha. Okay. But anyway, so. Whew. But yeah, bathroom 
some bathroom updates would be amazing. So can we put would, some in, Ms. Watson, can we put some in there for the transfer in? And then Mr. Bridge, can we go back and amend our uh, CIP just for the pool line item? And We have to amend the CIP anyway. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. So why not do it? Mike, there well, you go. Because first off, does anyone have any quotes? How much is it going to cost to change out those lights? Last time I talked to Howie about it, it was like a thirty, forty, maybe fifty thousand dollar project. That's not what I had heard, but let's say that is the case. Is it safety number one versus a lawsuit? Are, are these lights I in mean, the pool? Yeah, and they're real, about? they're real yellow and dim yeah, by now. What kind of a figure did you have on those lights? <coughs> a whole lot less than thirty, forty thousand. I well, was. Give me a give me a number. Less than I thought it was less than ten. It's not going to be less than ten. They got to replace their lights. The wiring is probably out of code, so that's going to have to be replaced. You know, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's I just remember talking about it. I thought it was with you, but I. Apparently I'm wrong. Yeah. Well, um, because that's, why? That's, once, that's, once you take the light, I mean, put some money in. about to get the quote because it needs to be done. I agree with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we just I just don't know end. what that number is going to be. We can always amend. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I would say uh, since we got to do it now, put it in there. Yeah. Because we got to amend anyway. Exactly. But I would just put it to a comfortable point that we're not going to have to amend again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like really put a number amount in there because thirty. Here's the thing: like, if that pool's making money, the lights need updated. Uh, the bathrooms need done like you guys discussed. Well, I would love to see the outside of that building painted. Um, well, not, painted not, the one out back, the one out back. Isn't it like chipping in the back? Everything was repainted. In the back corner where that shed is, that's... It's been, it's been Let me retract, minus the paintings. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, I don't go down there often, man. Yeah, no, I'm not. But wouldn't, no. wouldn't the bathroom and stuff be done through the capital improvements or the CIP? Well, that's yeah, that's what I'm that's talking what we're about. That's what I'm saying. We're going to update. Okay. So, so then we need to put the money in the budget here on the line item for the CIP updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I need, yeah, I need to. And if we're going to do the bathrooms, and, and you want to go with what urinals? Well, what I'm saying, I don't mean like tear anything down walls. but a stall that is legitimately <laughs> right. nine foot long, and there's literally it's, twenty people yeah, standing. Well, I mean. Yeah, it, 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 it creeps a lot of people out. What are you doing? I, mean, in there? I wouldn't go to the bathroom there. <laughs> I, mm -mm. I went home. Uh, I legitimately went home, biked home because of that one issue. I, I had what, a pass, I just come back. I, I think. What, what kind of an estimate are we talking about between know. the lights and the bathroom? It's on 50000 I couldn't imagine it being that much. Do you want to do 30? It's less than what we had last time. Yeah. Do you guys know? No. Okay. Well, let's put thirty thousand in there for the capital for the upgrade. That. Then let's get some numbers and do that because all I can see is if those lights are giving us a problem, we could have a monstrous lawsuit. We'd be spending a lot more. Yeah, than that. Let me say add, are you guys doing that on a transfer line item, or do you want to put that directly into the CIP? We have to have it in the. However you want to do it. Put it on. However, however it has to be We haven't done. got to the pool fund yet. That's coming down the road. I see what you're saying. So do you guys want that in a transfer line item? Because that way, it must be transferred in. As long as the CIP amend matches, we should be good to go. Okay. Okay. 30,000. Yeah. Are you okay with that logic? Mike, you go with that? Yeah, I guess. All right. Well, what's the number? Wait a second. 30. Are you good with 30? Jamie's good with 30. I'm good with 30. Mr. Lindsay. Miss Pool Manager. Mr. Cook. Are you okay yeah. with 30? I was going to get to her at the end. <laughs> Mr. Cobb, you go with 30? Did you see her eyes light up? That's fine. All right, good. They, they don't want to take <laughs> money away. <laughs> well, you know when it starts at zero, we can't go down from zero, correct? No, you can. You can close it. No, you can't. Huh? Well, the pool is doing. I'm just you know, at one time down. I was a fan of closing the pool because it was $40,000 in the hole. I hadn't made money for a couple of years. And I was a fan of closing that pool in 2015. But the management changed. Uh, oh, there's, a better, there's a better accounting of the funds that's mm -hmm. coming in and going out at the pool now. And you can't argue with a $6,000 profit. And they had a profit last year, too. I think it was only like three or 4000 but still, it was a profit. They didn't have a profit last year. I agree with you. Right. 100%. You know. Do 
you, you think that uh, behind the walls. Oh. Oh. oh, hey, is there anything that needs to be done in that kitchen to make it more comfortable for people oh. who work in there? I air conditioning, air, air conditioning. That makes it sick to say. What's that? Oh. 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 I'm sure she has. I don't know about the other one. How did the Young's Dairy Ice Cream sell last year? Are you going to do that again this year? Fantastic. Fantastic. So we're complete with these pages. Yeah. I'm going to make changes on this. Uh, first off, thank you for a great, another great budget work session. It's good to hear people's ideas and how we're going to move the city forward. Uh, to the citizens watching on home, it's all, it's all really you guys for passing the police levy, so thank you on that. Um, so I, what I'll do is I'll go make these changes and then I will print out, do you guys want new copies of this or you just want me to email it to you? Because I'm going to be adding on to it as the funds become, because next we have another one Wednesday, right? Yeah. So I got to spend the next couple of days plugging in what she's come up with into my version for the remaining funds. So um, I'll just still go ahead and update this and I'll email you guys out what I have. Yeah, we still have what, funds left? Yeah, we still got the remaining Cemetery funds. Cemetery and all that good stuff. And we're going to hit it hard. We got, we got three more budget work sessions to get through the rest of the budget. Streets. Well, a lot of that stuff, I think a lot of the discussion comes from this one. The general fund is the big one. Right. You know, the street construction, there's only so much we can do. Water, there's only so much. Last time we went literally three days you on know. general fund. You like, know, so. I feel like we should be zooming ahead here. So, council, any other comments, questions? Mr. Lowry. I move we adjourn. Second. We are adjourned.